Hello subscribers and friends. Welcome back once more to Back Into Fishing. So anyway, today is a bit of a departure video for me. I'm not going fishing today. Now as some of you know that um, right now I'm retired and my wife retires later this year. But once she is retired, we're on a waiting list to get into a retirement community. And some people have asked me, well, if you're going to retire and move out of state, how close is your nearest fishing place? Well, well let's find out. I know where it is. I've been there a couple of times. I uh, drove part way around it. But anyway, here's the community center where we're going to be moving to. This is an apartment complex. We're on the waiting list for an apartment in there. So let's drive on down the road see where my nearest lake is. There's actually three in the area. I have not been to either of the other two yet. I don't know how close they are. But uh, this one is fairly close. It's closer than some of the places I fish now. So, looking forward to moving up here, and if it wasn't for the price of the uh, Pennsylvania fishing license, I'd have already be fishing up here. I like all these American flags being up. They're all over this end of the property. Cause it, I could be everywhere, but this is the only end I've been to. But anyway, these were up since uh, Memorial Day weekend, and glad to see they're still up. But anyway, coming up here to the main intersection. This is the main road coming through here. This road goes all the way down into Maryland. This is the way I come up, the way I'll be going back. So let's see. We're on to the main road. Let's see how far away my nearest lake is. I play golf, but it's a golf course over here. It's around noon, you know, the traffic's not too bad. This isn't really too bad of a congested area. I was just into the older part of um, the, or the town, I should have mentioned that previously, is Hanover, Pennsylvania. And I was in sort of the older part of town just now and looking around. Traffic down there wasn't too bad either. Now if you get out onto one of the really main drags out there, I do expect it to be eh, similar to where I'm living now. But yeah, we will see soon enough. Can't be soon enough for me. Can't wait to get out of, generally speaking, Maryland and specifically Montgomery County. Talk about the inmates running the asylum. Ah. Now I'm going to get a lot of feedback on that. Stop sign up the top of this hill. Almost there if you think this is getting a little bit boring. Well, you're probably right. on this there. Now this road right here, this is where I normally would turn up, but um, that's the main road. But this is the road to the lake. As I said, now the first time I come up here, my GPS took me the long way around. I'll get a shot of that on the way back. 
the lake is off to my right here. Yeah, Pennsylvania never did learn to put the smooth side of the road down. How well you can see it. There's the overflow, the dam part of it, down right down here in the end. But this is a big lake in comparison to anything I presently fish. Long arm dam. If I can find a good picture of it, I'll uh, post it in this video. Lawrence Baker Shepherd Dam. Well, that's the first time I've seen that sign. Well, let me get turned around here and head back out. I can't really tell if I'm catching this or not. There's the uh, spillway for the dam. Okay, just coming up here, you're going to start being able to see the dam again. I'm on the main road, Westminster Avenue coming in. If you take this road all the way back into Maryland, it's going to dump you out just outside of Westminster, Maryland. It looks like the water level is really down. I said before, you can see water go down the spillway. It wasn't really going down. It's, there's some water being released, but uh, there wasn't anything coming down the spillway. First time I was here, yeah, it was coming down the spillway. Of course, that first time I was here was like a year ago. But anyway, this is going to be my next nearest lake once we move. I'm looking forward to getting up here, fishing it, and hopefully get a lot of good quality videos out of it.